Alongside women's soccer head coach Simon Duffy, I'm Tanner Swift, and this is the Eagles Sports Network. Carson Newman knocks off Wingate 4-1 to one here in the SAC semifinal at McCowan Field. And, Coach, kind of a, a sporadic last 15 to 20 minutes there. Can you recap kind of what happened? It, it's five-goal stretch over the last 20. Yeah, very unlucky not to be up by at least one and a half. We played some great football. First 15, 20 minutes, really, just they were chasing shadows. And uh, we wanted to make sure that we came out, you know, fresh and... and, and you know, very quick because we knew that um, Wingate would be up for it. Not, you know, being in the co uh, conference final for the last eight years in a row. So we knew it was going to be tough. So I'm just so, so glad we were eventually able to break them down. But as you saw, the second half again, we just dominated, moved, moved the ball really, really quickly, and some superb goals. You mentioned yesterday that it was crucial for your team to be clinical in front of the net. You get a lot of opportunities in that first half, but your defense is dominant. How much did that play a factor in getting your offense going late? It's quality. I mean, to limit that team to zero shots in the first half, it's excellent, you know. I, I didn't really see the goal that we, we conceded, so I'll have to look at it on the video. Um, but I'm just so glad we didn't drop momentum there at that stage, you know, because um, we it's it's a dangerous lead that two one. So glad we were able to get that third and what a, what a strike it was for the third goal, Kennedy's goal, and um, yeah, they they pushed at the end. I think went three in the back, and and we exploited those uh, wide areas. So we're just delighted for the girls. How good is it to have goal stores like Rankin and a Futurell when all the spotlight is on Mazango? She's able to get two goals back to back, but then that opens up more room for your other forwards. Yeah, it's great. You know, we've had so many goals from so many players this year. You know, it's been it's just been fantastic. It's great for Mags to get a couple more, but like you said, there's so much spotlight on her, and people are going to be kind of are going to gravitate towards her. But um, yeah, just so happy for Kennedy, great goal, and then Emily to pick one up at the end. You knock off Wingate the eight consecutive years they went to a sack final. Yeah. How how good is that for your squad and you to kind of get that out of the way in the yeah, first round? Them being a good team as an eight seed. Absolutely. I mean, they may not be having the best season or what they want to be to do this year, but they're still a quality team. You know. Um, felt very bad for a couple of their seniors that I've known for the last couple of years and especially the Kimmy Moore player she was she was just awesome last year so um, you know it's it is tough I'm, I'm just so thankful that we're still going we're still kicking and we need to give ourselves every opportunity to hopefully extend our postseason as long as we can coach appreciate your time Thank you very much can we get talents up talents up Finn Talons up. Finn, no, he's gone. He's Finn, gone. you're gone. No. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> That's women's soccer head coach Simon Duffy. I'm Tanner Swift, and this is the Eagles Sports Network. <laughs>